Welcome back to Denver, Josh Blue. People ask me if I get nervous before coming up on stage. I said, heck no, I got this many people staring at me all day. <laughs> That's right, folks. I was hoping you guys would laugh good and hard tonight. <laughs> because this is my make-a-wish. <laughs> And let me tell you some folks, I made the right choice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but if I had it to do again, I'd probably do things a little differently. Yeah, it would be you, ma'am. <laughs> you ever been with a cripple before? <laughs> would you like to? <laughs> How about now? My nickname is the Human Vibrator. <laughs> How about now? Uh, this is also part of my performance. I'd like to uh, inform you, you all are going to hell for laughing at me. <laughs> It's okay, we'll be hanging out. I heard the devil got good weed. That's right, I like to get high every now and again. Yeah. And again. <laughs> and again. Yeah. When I get high, I call it shake and bake. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> that a pretty good. Ah, yeah, hey. Love you too. Moving on. <laughs> Don't worry, she means nothing to me. <laughs> So I had a pretty interesting childhood, as you can probably imagine. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to fall down and get a lot of concussions. Oh, thanks for laughing. <laughs> oh, the cripple got hurt. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, I remember one particular time after a trip to the hospital, my mom pulled me aside and she was like, Josh, if you don't stop falling down, you're gonna have to wear a helmet. <laughs> I never fell down again. <laughs> I 
I have trouble getting laid now. <laughs> Could you picture that shit if I had a helmet on? <laughs> there are no cool pickup lines. <laughs> what do you say, hey baby? Uh, like my racing stripes? <laughs> I put the stickers on myself. <laughs> That's not cool. Also, when I was a child, my mom told me if I went on a roller coaster, my head would snap off. <laughs> what the heck kind of parenting skills are those? <laughs> I didn't go on a roller coaster till last summer. I wore seven turtlenecks <laughs> and a tie. <laughs> Whee! I wish I had my helmet. <laughs> Stickers all peeling off. My mom is an awesome person though. Uh, she's the only person in the world who can tell when I'm drunk. <laughs> she's like, Josh, are you walking straighter? I heard you come home, put the key right in the door. And you're naked. That's just how I roll. How about now? <laughs> I also have uh, two older sisters, and when I was about 12 years old, they both convinced me that there was something wrong with me. <laughs> because I hadn't had my period yet. <laughs> That's not funny. That is a bullshit thing to do. Because <laughs> there's nothing you can say that is cool when a tampon falls out of your pocket. <laughs> In English class. <laughs> I remember I was just sitting there and I heard it fall out and I was like, oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> of course, my teacher was like, hey, Josh, what's that? <laughs> I was like, hey, man, what can I say? I roll shitty joints. <laughs> what do you want? I'm only 12. <laughs> So, uh, where are my NASCAR fans at? Yeah, yeah. get the f out! <laughs> yeah, trashy bastards. <laughs> I love that joke, man. Because I mean it. <laughs> See, uh, you know, having a disability, I have to deal with a lot of crazy stuff. One is, like, people always think I'm drunk. And usually I am. But, uh, <laughs> I'll give you an example. I was in uh, our fair city of Denver. Yeah. Woo, Denver. Are you guys familiar with what the drunk tank is? Yeah. Of course you are. Uh, <laughs> well, for those of you that don't know what it is, it's this paddy wagon that drives around town and it picks up all the inebriated homeless people. Well, it was about one in the afternoon. <laughs> I was walking in here, whoop! I was like, uh-oh. 
Like, wait a minute here, fellas, there's a misunderstanding. I'm, I'm not drunk, I have cerebral palsy. They're like, that's a pretty big word for a drunk ass. I was in there for seven days. They're like, damn, buddy, what did you drink? I got it on Colfax, whatever it was. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, went to hail a taxi the other day, and I caught a pigeon. I was like, oh. It was beautiful. <laughs> Some dude walked by and threw a dollar down. I was like, cool. <laughs> Turning into a magician. <laughs> I hate magicians. <laughs> There's some magician in the audience going, why? <laughs> I'm out of here. Poof. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> That's another thing I always have to deal with, uh, like on college campuses. I perform there a lot, and swear to God, this always happens to me. Like kids run up, they're like, "Hey, man, I want what you're on. <laughs> you want my seizure medication?" Hey, that, uh, yeah, uh, that'll be seven dollars. <laughs> I know you guys heard that joke before, but act like you didn't, all right? <laughs> I'm filming my goddamn DVD. This is the greatest hits album, mother. Very original, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. I appreciate it though, thank you. You're my boy too. <laughs> you know, I just recently found out that my right arm has a, a job. I, I, I wasn't even know, I didn't even know about it. Like, I just found out that it's a, um, <laughs> it still cracks me up, man. It's an interpreter for the deaf. <laughs> Apparently, it's just catching up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, man. I think it's in Spanish. <laughs> There's a deaf Mexican in the back laughing her ass off. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's something else I always have to deal with having a disability is uh, I always have to deal with like condescending people. Like people mean well, but here's how it comes across like, hi, <laughs> buddy, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm like, hi. <laughs> Need a blowjob! <laughs> I 
that really takes him for a loop. Like, what the hell did he just say? <laughs> that joke's not only funny, but it's also true. That was like the gay mouse trap. <laughs> Those of you who laughed, thank you. Those of you who don't laugh, it was funny. <laughs> I like ball. <laughs> All these balls, man. I found out I was doing this filming, so I started going to uh, junior high practices and just taking them on every time. <laughs> There's some parents in the audience going, Hey, <laughs> that's our ball. It says Todd on it. <laughs> I don't care if you laugh, I'm having fun. <laughs> Every time I kick a ball or something, just grab your drinks, okay? And if I hit you in the face, please don't sue me. There's like three people going, hmm. <laughs> I'll make sure I kick it extra hard. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, my right arm does a lot of crazy stuff, like things I don't even know it does, like the whole sign language thing. And then also the other day, I thought someone had stolen my wallet. <laughs> I called the cops. That's a bullshit conversation I have to have. They're like, sir, is your wallet in your other hand? <laughs> so it is. You're not gonna have to take me downtown again, are you? Seven more days in the tank. You should have seen him try to cuff me. <laughs> they finally got me in there and a deaf Mexican woman ran up. I will marry you. <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> oh, man. Crack myself up, all right. <laughs> Thank you, all right. So my name is Josh. Uh, I think we established that by now. But... No, my name is Josh, but that means that I always uh, get this in conversations. Like, people will find a way to slip it in there. Like, I'm just joshing ya. <laughs> you guys familiar with that phrase? Man, that's an unfortunate phrase. Because my idea of joshing you... Might be a little different than your idea. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing either, it's all right. 
So I went to the grocery store today. Uh, spent way more money than I intended on. God damn, you scan it, check out. <laughs> One box of tampons. <laughs> 208 times, like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Do you have any coupons? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> man, it's hot up here, man. I'm, I'm starting to sweat, and I've always had this fear, like, I'll start sweating, and then uh, it'll, like, drip into the microphone, <laughs> and, like, short it out, and electrocute me. <laughs> you guys don't even be able to tell for, like, five minutes, like... <laughs> Oh, Josh and his antics. <laughs> I love that joke, man. Because <laughs> here's how you guys, you guys are like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Did he mean to do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. I may have hit my head. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking oh, no. You like to just make things awkward? <laughs> like this. It's gonna be a hell of a DVD. <laughs> Get it home and put it in a player. Like 45 minutes of me just standing there. You've been joshed, huh? <laughs> That's the uh, other thing too, having disabilities, like people always want to help me out with stuff. That's a good intention, but here's how it comes across, like, hey, <laughs> buddy, can I carry your books for you? Uh, sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll steal your wallet and Josh, your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> And one of them will be on purpose. <laughs> How's it going, dude? <laughs> Got some books in the back, man. <laughs> Work on a deal or something. <laughs> some of you guys are laughing, I can see you, and there's other ones that are just sitting there going. <laughs> Inappropriate. He wasn't like that on the show. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's the thing too, I, I do swear a bit, I like to swear, and if it offends you, I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, um, Seriously, if it offends you, just think of it like this. I just have really well-timed Tourette's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at you, you're like...
like, uh, are you having fun? No, no, I know you are, sir. Are you uh, serious? I'm not. Oh, what's up, Richard? <laughs> Pinch that lady and make her f***ing half or something. Uh, whew. Power to the people, brother. <laughs> He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> and funny, come on. <laughs> so uh, I, I did just recently fail another driving test. <laughs> oh, thank you for your support. <laughs> yeah, I hit one cone. One measly little cone. So what if it was in the lobby of a bank? <laughs> <laughs> On the second floor. <laughs> I played that shit off though. I was like, yes, I'd like to make a deposit. <laughs> They weren't laughing at all. <laughs> so uh, with all this heat, some dude came up to me. He's like, hey, man, hot enough for you? I go, looked him up and down. I was like, yeah, you're pretty cute. <laughs> I just don't roll that way, buddy. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> so, uh, you guys know what's dangerous? Getting road head. <laughs> That's some dangerous shit. I mean, I've been in more car accidents. Because, I mean, really, how can she give me a blowjob and drive at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Do you drive? <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> so I'm not a driver, I am a city bus rider. He, he, you guys should be grateful for that. <laughs> Are there any other city bus riders out there? All right, three people. <laughs> this joke's gonna rock! <laughs> uh, for those of you who have never ridden on a city bus, uh, which is apparently pretty much all of you, <laughs> you need to know that there's always one crazy mother <laughs> on there. And let me tell you something, folks, it was a sad day when I realized that it was me. <laughs> There's a simple reason for this. I just don't know bus etiquette. Because when I was a child, I went to school on the short bus. <laughs> yeah, and on the short bus, if you want to smear poop on the wall, it's okay. <laughs> and if you want to pull it out, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something, folks. That shit does not fly on public transit. Seven more days in the tank. <laughs> so a lot of you already know this, but I am a member of the U.S. Paralympic soccer team. <laughs> Where were you? Playing, man. <laughs> Does anyone know how the team did? Uh, really? 
Ding, thanks for playing, ma'am. Well, let's just say me and my teammates, well, we didn't have to worry about getting tested for any performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> we got our asses kicked. It was all good though. We were competing against countries like uh, Russia, Ukraine, and Brazil. Like countries that live together all year round and like practice twice a day. Whereas the US team, uh, not so much. <laughs> and the thing that I realized when you're competing against countries of that caliber, it doesn't matter how many times I watch that movie Miracle, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go on, does everyone know what the Paralympics are? Oh, that, that's not everyone. Uh, the Paralympics are the Olympics for people with uh, physical disabilities. And it's often mistaken for the Special Olympics, which is the Olympics for people with mental disabilities. Uh, now the biggest difference is, uh, we play for medals instead of hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like a good hug every now and again. <laughs> There's something I'll never forget about being over in Athens, though. There was a party for all the countries involved, like uh, Ireland, Scotland, uh, Maryland. <laughs> what? Anyway, it was like halfway through the evening before I realized that more than 50% of conversations were not being understood. <laughs> because someone who's drunk and has cerebral palsy and speaks with a Scottish accent <laughs> is really freaking hard to understand. <laughs> I remember I was sitting there at the party and this guy runs up to me, he's like, Josh, my man. So Christ and so honey, I can check that hot a barber saw. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Yeah, then we tried to give each other a hug and it took 20 minutes, like... <laughs> That's only half as long as it took to unhug, like... <laughs> Get off me! I don't know what you're saying! And you're moist! After they broke us apart, uh, <laughs> we gave each other our wallets back. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then a pigeon flew up. <laughs> I was like, was that mine or yours? <laughs> we never decided. <laughs> There's a ton of fun inside jokes on the cerebral palsy soccer team, too. You can probably imagine. Uh, one of my favorite things is I love watching my teammates uh, get ready to go home in the locker room uh, after one of our many defeats. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I love watching them put on deodorant. <laughs> because they all only have use of one hand. So it kind of looks like this. I just like that joke because I know Chuck has to come back up and use the mic. <laughs> oh. Is that a moist cripple's armpit? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> My other favorite joke is an inside joke like to you, normal folks, this is an insult, right? But on the cerebral palsy soccer team, this is a little more of an insult.
That takes a little more effort. Now you know I'm pissed off. <laughs> Other stuff I love about being on my team, I love traveling with my soccer team because there's nothing more entertaining than watching 12 dudes with cerebral palsy run through an airport. <laughs> People just kind of get the f out of your way. <laughs> a shitty parade. <laughs> and I love it. When we're at the terminal, they come over the airwaves and they're like, yes, we'd like to make this pre-boarding announcement for those of you who need a little extra time getting down the jetway. Well, my whole team gets up every time. So last time I was like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, maybe you'd like to break it down into groups. Uh, People afflicted on the right side first. Uh, shaky heads next. <laughs> After I did that, I felt kind of guilty. Because I'm both of those. I was like, I'm getting on first. <laughs> Something I hate about being on my team, uh, I hate the fact that they can actually drug test me at any time. Some bullshit, huh? <laughs> Not because of the reason you think, but um, can you guys picture me peeing in a cup? <laughs> People, I have the coordination of a Muppet. I'm barely peeing in the bathroom. <laughs> what adds insult to injury is they actually send someone in the bathroom with you to make sure you're not cheating. Like, shit, if I get in the cup, I should win. <laughs> It was cool though, the last guy that was administering the test uh, noticed I was having a little bit of a problem. So he offered to hold it for me. The cup. You guys are gross, man. So I peed on him. <laughs> Drug test me, I just wish it hadn't have been at my house. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, something bad did happen to me though. In one of the last games of the uh, Olympics, I got injured. Oh, about time. <laughs> Tourette's, come on. All right. uh, yeah, I got injured and my coach had the nerve to put me on the disabled list. I was like, wait a minute, coach, isn't that the whole idea? <laughs> Speaking of being on the disabled list, uh, I did just recently break up with a girlfriend. Uh, uh, mixed reaction, thank you. Um, we broke up because she had the audacity to ask me if I peed sitting down. <laughs> All right. I was like, baby, I'm such a man, I take a poop standing up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fellas, you think your lady gets mad when you pee on the toilet seat? <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs>
Maybe she broke up with me, I don't know. I've changed though. Never happened again. <laughs> some of you guys are laughing, some of you are like, mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun. <laughs> Good, all right, cool. You guys having fun, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. no, no. Okay. All right, cool, thank you. All right, that's, I'm just making sure. I never played here before. I don't know what it's like. And apparently this is what it's like, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm back in the dating scene, uh, which can be kind of a tricky place for me. Because if I'm in a bar or something and I meet a girl and I want to give her my phone number, the first thing I have to do is find a big old stack of paper. Seven. Two. Thirteen freaking sheets later. I'm like, here you go, baby. Don't mix them up. Might want to get a stapler or something. <laughs> Have you guys ever been on a date where your date is so fine, you give yourself a date rape drug? <laughs> Like, this has got to work. <laughs> Passed out in a corner. Uh, me, me neither. <laughs> so, uh, the cool stuff about uh, having disabilities is I can uh, pretty much get away with anything I want. <laughs> and now that I'm famous, it's a holy terror. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. But it's to the point where now my friends know that I can get away with stuff, so they think they can get away with stuff too. I'll give you an example, me and my friend were at a bar the other night, and we're talking to a woman, and he just reaches out and he grabs her boob. And we were both like, what are you doing? And he goes, it's okay, he has cerebral palsy. Like, he's right. <laughs> you guys ever have a friend who's just no good under pressure? Yeah. Uh, you know the one I'm talking about, right? Yeah. The one when the cops show up, you don't want them talking? <laughs> But for some reason, they're always talking. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know that friend, you are their friend. <laughs> my friend Brian is that guy in my life. Uh, about three weeks ago, we were uh, sitting in a park at one in the morning, uh, eating Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. I just got out of the tank. And a cop pulls up. And before the cop has a chance to say anything, my friend Brian goes, Josh is handicapped, he can't eat so fast. <laughs> so now I gotta go along with this bullshit. I like tacos. Seven more days in the tank. <laughs> I'll tell you something though, it is a bitch to be my friend. <laughs> I, got, I got Brian back though. Cause uh, like, if we're ever in like a public place or something, and we're not doing what I wanna do, 
<laughs> oh boy. It can get real ugly real fast. I'm like, you're not a good caretaker. <laughs> I don't like when you hit me. <laughs> hey, lady, don't hit the camera. <laughs> Just kidding, go ahead. <laughs> you guys ever uh, have your two best friends hook up? Anyone ever have that? Yeah. Sucks, right, Mel? Because it's like you used, you're hanging out like you used to, but now they start kissing in front of you, which is just really awkward. Uh, so I found a way to make it more awkward. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, uh, when they start kissing and they close their eyes, uh, just take off all your clothes. <laughs> yeah, and then start singing. Come and knock on my door. I've been waiting for you. Again, shit changes real fast. <laughs> hey, you guys ever hear that phrase, laughter is the best medicine? Yeah. Man, that's bullshit. I'm funny as f <laughs> 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 yeah, when I started, I was in a wheelchair. <laughs> so you guys have trouble getting up in the morning? Of course you do, you're all drinking. <laughs> well, I found a great way to help you get out of bed in the morning. Uh, it's not great, but it will get you up. Uh, just bear with me on this one too, okay? Uh, just set your alarm clock to uh, the Christian station. <laughs> just bear with me, come on. Because nothing will get you out of bed faster than, are you prepared for eternal damnation? <laughs> Was that today? I got some shit to do. <laughs> so I'm not really a religious man, uh, except when I shave. <laughs> That's my time to talk to God. I have questions like, uh, why uh, did they make a Mach 3? And uh, why did I buy it? And oh, great creator, why'd you have to put so many important veins and arteries right here? <laughs> I mean, really, God, every time they add another blade, my chances of survival go down 38%. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I just gotta do that random shit. It's fun in public. What <laughs> the f wrong with that guy? That was funny too, seriously. Uh, kinda like, throughout my whole life, I, like once I was a teenager, people always thought I was drunk. And then the way I dressed, then they also thought I was homeless. <laughs> it's really funny now because I've been on the show and a lot of people recognize me but there's still pockets of people who are like, I think I'm homeless. So, so when people were walking up to me, I don't know whether it's the famous one or the homeless one. <laughs> but either way, I ask them for change. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I flew a whole bunch yesterday uh, and, uh, and the day before that I flew all across the nation and all that. And uh, then we had that liquid terrorist scam, whatever it was. All I know is when I got to cut, uh, like security checkpoint, like, all right, you're going to need to take out all the liquids from your bag. And I was like, all right, that was no big deal. I started going into my toiletry bag. I counted in my toiletry bag 13 little bottles of shampoo. <laughs> and I'm just thinking the security guard must be going, this guy has a weird fetish. <laughs> Apparently he collects shampoo, but he doesn't use it. <laughs> I would take the plane down with shampoo. <laughs> Tiny little bottles. <laughs> yeah. Josh Blue, you just one last comic standing. What are you going to do? Well, I thought about taking down a plane with shampoo. <laughs> 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 Are you guys encouraging me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever, man. <laughs> True story. Anyway, you guys like my self-portrait? <laughs> the devil's... Oh, thank you, sir. One guy's like, yay, devil! <laughs> My right arm is the devil. You guys, like, seriously, they said it does all kinds of shit, but you guys know those cartoons when the devil pops up on your shoulder? <laughs> Say, how about now, huh? <laughs> no, they'll never laugh. Say, it. oh. How about now? <laughs> I told you. Just checking for my wallet. <laughs> nope. So uh, I didn't want to get all political on you guys, um, but here I go. <laughs> well, I, uh, I did vote Republican. I didn't mean to. It was like, oh, 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 I need the stem cell. I said stem cell, all right? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I totally josh myself. <laughs> so, uh, where are my Republicans at? <laughs> yeah. You here? Where you at? Come on. Yeah, get the f out! <laughs> yeah, trashy bastards! <laughs> but uh, before you go, make sure you pick up one of my CDs. Because <laughs> you have all the money. <laughs> you guys should be laughing harder at this shit. Because right? they're going to kill me. <laughs> all right, uh, you guys also know what is awesome, like I said, about having a disability. I really can get away with pretty much anything I want. <laughs> Ain't that right, dude? Because, <laughs> I mean, really, what's he going to do? <laughs> Beat me up? That's not some shit you can go home and brag about. 
<laughs> What's that conversation sound like? Hey, 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 Carl, come here. <laughs> yeah, Carl, I went to a comedy show. Yeah, I kicked the crap out of a cripple. That's not cool, man. And don't hang around people named Carl. <laughs> anyway, my luck, he would kick the crap out of me and hit me in the right spot and fix me. <laughs> there goes my gig. <laughs> Yeah, then I have to do dick jokes like the rest of these. <laughs> uh. Now they're gonna kick my ass. <laughs> That's a fight I'd like to see. <laughs> a cripple fighting a hippie in Hagrid, like. They know not to mess with me though, because I have this thing I like to call the palsy punch. <laughs> First of all, you don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> Second of all, uh, neither do I. <laughs> and uh, and uh, last but not least is, um, how about now? <laughs> Just joshing you. <laughs> so you guys are going to go pretty quick. Uh, before I go, I have to say this. Uh, thank you, Colorado. Give yourselves a round of applause. Denver. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Seriously, throughout this whole last comic thing, I felt such love coming from this state, and it gives me goosebumps. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Awesome. Woo! I also gotta say this: um, tonight, no matter how funny I was up here, I know that uh, after the show, at least one of you is gonna come up to me and be like, "Hey." <laughs> Buddy, you did a really good job. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, <laughs> and thank you guys. Thank you, Denver. You've been judged. <laughs>